Hey guys, welcome to the video. And here today we are going to be covering uh, the other part of the PS3 version 2.0 update. This one is going to focus on the local method. That means you'll be using your device, in this case a PC, to communicate with your PS3 via your home network. So this requires an intranet connection, but it does not require an internet connection. We already did a video where we showed you how you didn't need a USB dongle nor a PC, and you did it uh, via the internet through your PS3 browser. So here, it's going to be contained solely to your home network. Although your PS3 and your PC or whatever can be you know, connected in your um, in your home network via Wi-Fi, it's recommended that they be wired in, like I have them set up uh, directly plugged into uh, my router uh, for, you know, best results. The other thing is that this is only for PS3s that are on 482 OFW. This does not work on 3000 series slims or any super slims. This is only for those PS3s that were able to be jailbroken in the past. This applies to those exact same models. If you're not sure which ones those are, it's been already discussed to death. Just Google it. So using this local method, I'm going to show you two different variants. The traditional way, which means your USB stick will need to be plugged in to the PS3. But now there's a new way where the stick does not need to be plugged in to the PS3 and you do not need to have an internet connection. It's still confined to your intranet, so it's still local, but you don't need to have the USB stick plugged in, which is a pretty big deal because some of you I know are having issues with your USB stick, not uh, having the information, not having the flash hex uh, file being read properly off of it. I experienced this with version 1.0 of this exploit, and as soon as I switched uh, to another USB stick, everything worked flawlessly. So you may be having the problem and you may not even know that it's the USB stick. So if you're going to have issues uh, with the USB stick or if you're having them, now this method will help you out because it will read the file from within the hard drive of the PS3. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well as two different um, things that you can use that will act as local servers on your PC that will hopefully even give you a greater chance of success. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, and the first file you're going to need to go and fetch is your NOR NAND 482 Flash Rider version 2.0 update, which is located in the post itself. I'll put a link in the description. You're going to scroll down to the bottom, and it will be uh, right here. Okay. The other thing is you're going to need to uh, set up your, in this case, your PC, as your local server. Now, technically, you can do this with like an Android device, but we're not going to cover that here today. Uh, we're going to use just a PC. Now, I've always used MiniWeb HTTP, and I've been really happy with it, but some of you may have issues with it. So I'm going to show you another method which involves a Chrome extension. So for now, if you want to try the MiniWeb again, because now these files are new and been updated, you can go ahead and do that and download it here. The Chrome extension is called Web Server for Chrome. It's got like over a thousand reviews and it's still holding out a 4.8. Um, when you open up your Chrome, you can go ahead and just add it to Chrome. It might be available for Firefox too, I'm not sure. Or Firefox may have something similar or you know whatever um, browser you use may have something similar. But anyway, for those of you using Chrome, open it up and just add the extension. So I'm going to show you how to set these two things up. Let's start with MiniWeb. So you're going to go into your MiniWeb zip file. You're going to drag your MiniWeb folder out to your desktop. Let's go ahead and go into it and uh, right click on the MiniWeb.exe, go to properties, then go to compatibility and make sure the box is checkmarked, the one that says run as an administrator. Click apply and then click OK. Go into HT Docs. You're going to delete the index, logo, upload, and uploaded files. So delete all four of those. You're only going to leave the default.css and the favicon.ico files behind. Now open up the other zip file that you downloaded from PSX Place, uh, which is the NOR NAND uh, release version 2.0, and drag that to your desktop. Now we're going to go into it, 
and we're just going to copy. I'm going to highlight them all, and I'm going to hit Control C, and then I'm going to paste them here. And we're going to paste them to this htdocs folder, right? So let's go. Let's move up one. Let's go to the root here of this mini web folder, and uh, and there we have the htdocs and the mini web set up. So I'm going to close out of this. Here's the mini web, and I'm going to rename it. And I already wrote it, so I'm just going to. Oh, I need to rewrite it again. PS3 uh, exploit version 2.0, and I'm going to call this mini web. All right, there we go. And I'll move that off to the side. Now let's go to this one, and I'm just going to rename this one. I'm going to hit F2, and I'm going to call this PS3 exploit version 2.0 dash chrome all right and all the files i need should be in there there we go so now we have these two folders right there set up so let me show you the chrome extension now okay so we're going to go ahead and open up chrome i'm assuming you installed the extension to open it you're just going to come here to the apps tab click on it and you should see it here on the page it's going to say web server go ahead and click on that make sure that you turn it off for right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check mark the box that says run in background we're going to check mark the box that says accessible on local network and you can leave the all the other ones uh, unchecked you can always change this port later on but for now we're going to leave it like that and um, click show advanced settings make sure all the boxes are not check marked except the plain static files view box that one should be marked then we're going to go up to the top Let's go to choose folder. Now remember, I just created a folder called PS3 Exploit version 2.0 Chrome, and there it is right there. You're just going to make sure the folder is highlighted. You don't need to go into it, and then hit OK. Then you can go ahead and turn it on. Whenever you make changes here, you need to turn it off, make the changes, and then when you turn it on, the changes will take place. Now you're presented with two um, addresses, two IP addresses. The top one is your home one that's when you're in a browser here on your PC if you type that address or go to it you'll see the files in that folder so right now if I was to go here and type 127.0.0.1 semicolon 8887 and hit enter there are the files that are in that folder which is great that's exactly what we want I'm gonna go ahead and close Chrome Chrome does not need to be open if you're using this as a matter of fact I suggest you close it <clears throat> the bottom IP address is the one you will type into your ps3 so make a note of the bottom ip address so here's the deal i'm going to shut this off for right now and minimize it if you go into miniweb and you double click on miniweb you're going to get an ip address here when we get over to the ps3 you can choose which one you're going to use but don't run both you notice i just turned the other one off this one is now running so you may want to try MiniWeb, see if it works for you. If you don't have success, try the other one. But all the steps from this point on will be the same for either one that you're using. So just to show you that it works from this point on, I'm going to be using the uh, Chrome one. So I'm going to close out of MiniWeb. Then let me open this back up, and I'm going to go ahead and switch it to on. All right? And let's go over to the uh, PS3. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and bring it up here to my desktop. All right, and uh, before we um, close this out, you can go into either one of those folders that we created, and you're going to need to copy the flash 482 hex file onto the root of your USB stick. Once you've copied it onto the root of your USB, go ahead and plug that USB into any one of the USB ports that you want, because now it doesn't matter, and we're covering the uh, USB method first. So go ahead and do that. And then we're going to go into the PS, which I already have open, and we're going to go into the browser. All right, so we're going to go into the browser, and then we're going to go ahead and hit the Start button. And now you're going to type the IP address of whatever program it is that you're using. Now I'm using the Chrome extension, so this is the address for the Chrome extension. If you're using MiniWeb instead, then you would type the MiniWeb IP address here. Um, and look at that. Look at how quick it just came up. Now, at this point, you should know whether you have a NOR or NAND P3 
PS3, so you're going to pick the uh, correct page here. If you have a NAND PS3, it will be index-nand.html. If it's a NOR, it's index-nor.html. Okay, so I'm on a PS3 Slim. Mine is a NOR. I'm going to go ahead and press that. You'll be presented with a congratulations screen. Just hit OK there. And then look at how quick everything just pops up um, with this extension. Now, at this point here, what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, you know, read all of this before you start. We're going to hit triangle. We're going to go to tools, go to home page, and we're going to click use as current, and then we're going to select OK. Now hit triangle again, and we're going to delete these three things again, as I've done in my other videos, which is the cookies, the history, and the cache. So we're going to delete those three All right, and delete the cache. Now here you must get out of the browser. Then let's go back in and it should give you the congratulations screen. There we go. And take you right to the page you chose. In my case, it's NOR. So it's the NOR flasher page with your USB dongle plugged in. You need to um, select where you plugged it into. I plugged it into my right side USB port on my slim PS3. That one is USB 000. The one on the left side is USB 001. And I think USB 006 has to do with the old fat PS3s that had like four USB ports. Not really sure I know how to deal with them. So um, uh, I picked the 000 because it's on the right side. Then at this point, you'd go ahead and hit initialize exploitation. Once you get a successful message, then you will select the patch nor flash memory or the patch NAND flash memory, depending on uh, which one you chose. If at any point you get an error message, it may say go ahead and refresh the page. You can click it to refresh it. You can also get out of the page and come back in, maybe even delete your cache again and come back in and try the whole process all over again. Either way, once you get a successful message after you have uh, patched the memory, I suggest you do not turn off the PS3. Instead, what you're going to want to do is run uh, the NOR or NAN dump so you can check your BIOS. And yes, when you get a successful message, you can run the NOR dump again. You just follow the steps in the video. I'll put the link in the description that I show you how to do the NOR dump, basically, or NAN dump. Basically, you're going to come in here and you'll just have to, you know, change uh, the home page again. You know, you, you'll have to type in the uh, address again. Um, the IP address, you're going to pick, you know, the either NOR or NAN dump uh, file. You're going to set the page, uh, the home page to that page. You're going to delete your cookies, your history, and your cache. You're gonna, just going to follow the same directions as I tell you to do in that video and dump it. I also show you how to check it. And once it's been checked and you're okay with everything, then at that point, you can turn off the PS3, turn it back on, install either 482 Ferrex CFW or 482 Rebug Lite CFW. And once you've installed either one of those, you can either leave it there or you can install Habib's uh, QA toggle. So that way you can go back to an older firmware of Rebug or Habib or Ferrex or whoever you want. So now let's go ahead and let me show you how to do this without the USB plugged in. Okay, so pay close attention here. This next method that we're going to do, it's pretty much the same thing. The difference is it's going to read the file from your internal hard drive instead of reading it from your USB stick, which means a USB stick should not be plugged in. There is a little dilemma, though, using uh, MiniWeb. MiniWeb, for whatever reason, can't download the Flash 482 JPEG file, which is the file that we need in order to run the exploit. It, you won't be able to download it if you're using the MiniWeb method. However, using the uh, Chrome extension web, uh, method, it will download it without any problems. So you can go that route or you can use, you know, whatever other server you're using and maybe it'll install into the HDD of the PS3 without any problems. The other thing that you can do is you can just go ahead and take your USB stick, plug it into uh, your PC and you can just copy that flash 482 JPEG file to your USB. 
So basically you can make like a folder called images or picture. Okay, I made one called picture, all caps. I don't think it's case sensitive, but anyway, um, that's where I put the flash 482 JPEG file. I copied it there. Okay, then remove your USB stick and put it into your PS3. So let's go ahead and go over to the PS3 now so I could show you um, either the download way or using the USB stick. All right, so let me go ahead first and show you, let's go over to the photos section and show you that there is no photos here. Okay, well, there are no photos there. Now let's go into the browser. Now I'm still using the Chrome extension deal. So I'm going to hit start and uh, let's type in that IP address. You're going to type in the same IP address you've been using. All right, we're going to hit start. Now at this point, we are going to choose either index NAND HDD or index NOR HDD, uh, depending on which system you have. Again, you should already know I'm on NOR, so I'm going to pick index NOR HDD. For this method we're gonna hit OK right now here whichever one you pick you're gonna be presented in step one with this little um, deal where it says press here um, just highlight it so that it turns to the little finger and then go ahead press triangle hit file go to save target and select system storage photo and then look at how quick this is with the um, Chrome extension. It's so fast. I was trying now Phoenix last night and it was incredibly slow. So hit circle, right? Um, if for some reason the server that you're using, the local server, does not download the picture, like MiniWeb, it's going to give you an error, then you can use the uh, your USB stick. You'll transfer the file um, over to your USB like I showed you, plug it in, and then transfer it over to the photos. This one, it worked, it downloaded. Now we're going to check it. But before we do, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to go into uh, Tools. We're going to go to Home Page. We're going to hit Use Current. Hit OK. Now we're going to Triangle, go to Tools, and guess what we're going to do? Those same three things all over again. We're going to delete our cookies. We're going to delete our history, and we're going to delete the cache. All right. Now let's go ahead and back out because we need to get out of this anyway. And since we're already out here, let's go to the photos, and there's the photo uh, file that we just downloaded. Now it's going to say corrupt data because this is not a real image. Uh, so let's go ahead and go down to information and you can see it says flash 482 and it's three megabytes in size and that's exactly what we want. Now if the server can't download it, it's no problem. Let's pretend that it didn't download. Let's delete it. Okay. And then the only thing you need to do is plug in your USB as the file. And you're just going to transfer it over. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go into hit triangle here, hit display all. Let's go into picture, and there it is. And we're just going to copy it over. And voila, there it is. We can hit triangle again, and just to make sure it copied, and there it goes. Flash 482, it's three megabytes. That's exactly what we want. Now let's go back into the browser. We already cleared everything out, and we already set the page, so we just, it should just take us straight to the page alright and now whether you either downloaded the image or you installed it via your USB you do not have to do step one because it's already in the photos at this point all you need to do is initialize the exploitation when it says it's successful then go ahead and click on the patch flash memory if you don't get a successful message it'll say refresh here you can click on it and it will refresh or you can back out of it come back into it, delete the cache again, and then just try it a couple more times um, until you're successful. Once you're successful, um, patching the flash memory in step three, everything we talked about before applies. Go ahead and go back. Before you turn it off, dump your NOR or your NAND, 
make sure you check it. And once you know everything is good and you're comfortable, then turn off the system, turn it back on, install the 482 CFW of your choice, and you can either stay there or you can downgrade with Habib's QA toggle and then install whatever CFW you want. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Again, sorry it was so long, but you know I like being detailed. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and we're going to see you on the next one.